Hi everybody, it's Lynn. How are you all doing? Today I'm back with another makeup look. Though I'm gonna make it a little different this time because I am doing a video for the members of my family today. Yes, because it's my grandmother's birthday. She was 80 last month and we were going to plan a big surprise party but we've had to reschedule it for a little later. The theme is the decade in which she grew up in the 1940s. So I wanted to create a little easy makeup look to inspire my family and of course you guys let's create this little easy peasy simple pimple look which is all about a natural looking face with a bold signature lip super easy stick along for the ride and i'll see you in a minute so let's start with a blank canvas this is me no makeup no eyebrows looking at pale as ever hi welcome I'm gonna start off with my face. I want a pretty natural looking face. I'm not going to cake it on, but I'm going to take care of my dark circles. I'm going to take care of my blemishes and the redness around my nose. So I'm gonna start out with some concealer and I'm gonna blend it with my beauty blender. You can also use a fluffy brush. Uh, personally, I really enjoy the beauty blender. I think it doesn't seep into my creases as bad as any other tool, but I do have deep set creases, so can't hide everything. So I'll put a decent amount on the back of my hand here. I'm gonna apply, what I do is just apply a few dots around my eye area, and then I blend. My mirror is down here, by the way, so I'm sorry I'm not looking up as much as I should. <laughs> so I blend it out. I like creating a slight triangle here so I can brighten up the area and also to create a blank canvas on my eyelids for the eyeshadow I'll apply a bit of concealer, leftover concealer here and blend it out. Same goes with the other side. So that's for my dark circles and for the redness around my nose I like... And for the redness around my nose, I like to use a concealer with a slight greenish undertone to counter the redness. So I'll just apply a little around my nose. And I'll blend. For any blemishes, like really red marks on your face, you can use the same concealer with a greenish undertone. I usually don't wear any foundation. My Skin doesn't really enjoy it. If I really do want to fix everything in place, I'm, I just use a powder, which I am going to do now. A bit of loose powder. There we go. Now my skin is nice and uniform. Don't forget your neck, by the way. <laughs> there we go. So now we have a pretty good base to work with. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows and same for the rest. I'm going to keep them pretty natural. I noticed that eyebrows were more on a thinner side with an either a natural arch or an exaggerated arch. I'm simply going to fill them in following the line of my nose. Do maybe a little bit of an arch right here and then finish them off as naturally as possible. For this, I'm using a brow pencil to have more control. I'm just gonna comb through my eyebrows to see if I can achieve the shape that I want from the get-go. And make sure that all the hairs are in place. Yeah, I have really sparse eyebrows. So I'm gonna start in the middle of my eyebrow and fill them up from there and just figure out what shape I want them to be. For the arch, I'm going to slightly overdraw where my natural arch would be to exaggerate it just slightly. I can't pull off the exaggerated look with these eyebrows. If you can, just go for it. It's all in, it's all you. But I'm just slightly going to overdraw my own at this point.
As you can see, I've slightly overdrawn my eyebrow on the arch and now I'm gonna add some concealer just below it to clean it up and give it a more natural looking shape. Moving on to the eyes, pretty basic. Either you don't do anything and just apply some mascara. But for myself, as a person who just adores putting makeup on my eyes, I just can't leave it be. But I'm gonna follow the guidebook and I'm going to use some natural looking shades for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use some cream colors, some grayish brown colors and some brown and that's it you're barely even going to see it i'm just putting it because i need something on my eyes otherwise i just i just feel naked my eyes are like the main feature of, of my face they take up like half my face already anyway so i just can't not do anything so i'm gonna use this flat brush to pack on some beige color as the base on my eyelids There we go, that is it. And by the way, this shade is called Heaven and it's by Too Faced. And then I'm gonna take this beige, I said gray brown, this is how I would describe it. It's called Velvet Revolver. It's beige, but very muted. I don't know how to describe it any other way. So I'm gonna pack, it, pack this color onto my brush and apply it to the crease. Very simply applying it to my eye crease. Ta -da! Nothing else much to do really. Just make sure that your brush is clean, that there isn't some bright pink or like purple left on it and you should be fine. Just apply it to your crease, I'd say up to three quarters. Like not, I don't do it all the way around. Maybe I should, but I've never really done that. I just apply it like three quarters of the way. Now, next step is optional. For the eyeshadow, you can just stop here. It looks natural, it looks fine. But I'm going to add just a tiny teeny hint of darker brown to the outer V. So I'm going to use the darkest shade which is called Sexpresso and I'm just going to touch it to the outer corner of my eyes. Watch. So I just applied it and now I'm bringing it in just a little to create a gradient. I'm just gonna blend the rest. If you prefer, you can blend it with a fluffy brush. It's sometimes a little, it can be a little easier to create a more natural gradient. And this is it with my natural looking shadow. Now, this is the part where either curl your lashes, add mascara, add falsies, and move on with the eyes. But I want to create the illusion of a fuller lash. One, because I don't own false lashes, I've never applied them myself, I don't even have an eyelash curler, I know it's so bad. I need to try to, to do that someday. Maybe I'll make a video. A girl applies false lashes for the first friggin' time. But so far, I don't. And I do want fuller looking eyelashes. And number two, I can't not put eyeliner. I, I love eyeliner. I love putting eyeliner. But we're going to compromise. No cat eye. I know. Sniff boohoo. I love my cat eye. Everybody knows I love creating my little cat eye flick. But today we are going to go with this brown color which we're going to apply very close to our lash line to create the illusion of a thicker looking lash. So I'm going to get close to my mirror here. So if you only see the top of my head for a minute, that is why. Now, do it carefully, guys. You don't want to go overboard. Dot, if necessary, dot carefully just above your, just above your lash line, like this, and start filling it in. If you have it, with a, either a white but 
preferably a light pink eyeliner line your waterline just the center and it will open up your eyes delicately I'm just gonna add just a little bit of the first shade, the beige right beneath my brow bone you know this trick to create a little more dimension and I'm also gonna add a little around the corner of my eyes now, lashes curl them, mascara, falsies, everything you want just make them voluminous and natural it's a little weird in the same sentence but we want full, healthy, natural looking eyelashes so, do your worst here I'm just combing through my eyelashes even though there's nothing left on my brush just to make sure they aren't clumping too much together and I'm also going from the root to really lift everything upward and open up the eye Now, if you want to add some uh, blush, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Forward, load up your brush, and tap off the excess. Do not blow on your brush, guys. Just don't. And add the rosy blush. I forgot to mention it needs to be rosy to the apples of your cheeks, up to the cheekbones. That is 40 style. So just smile and add. a little healthy pinkish glow literally that's all there is to it super easy no contouring and specific areas to limit yourself to just put in some pink on your cheeks and drag it upwards a little bit that's all there is to it now the main feature of the face in the 40s the lips now what i'm gonna do is create a bright red lip I'm going to start with my lip pencil, this is all I have left, so I'm just going to have to make do. It's not really the correct shade, but we'll make it work. And I'm going to do, same as with the eyebrows, I'm going to slightly overdraw my lips. Lips are the statement piece, bright red, bam, wham in your face, and this is what I'm going to try to create today. <laughs> Yay! Don't worry if you go overboard, you can always cover up with some concealer or with a cotton swab, just, you know, flick it and <laughs> make it all alright. And guys, guys, this is the finished look. I know, super basic, super easy, right? The main theme, as I mentioned, is to keep it as natural as possible with just that pop of a lip, which is the main focus of this look. I'd say lip, then maybe eyebrows, depending on how strong you've made them, either really natural with a natural arch or a little more dramatic. So I hope you enjoyed this little retro look. I just wanted to celebrate my grandmother and inspire the rest of my family to follow me to create a wonderful look at my grandmother's birthday party i'll see you very soon don't forget this month is going to be a little sporadic when it comes to uploads if you don't know what i'm talking about i made an update video yes the infamous update video uh, where i explain everything about why i'm not going to be around for the next few weeks so go check that out if you have a big interrogation mark on top of your head right about now i'll see you guys very soon don't forget i l word you all <laughs> bye guys oh, i'm gonna have to kiss my hand <laughs> Ha <laughs>